so what's cooking? Well, of course, it's Kelly chicken and leftover rice. So, I am gathering all of my seasonings together and putting them all on my counter. Okay? Now, I'm actually trying something new. I'm trying to narrow it and see what actually happens. So, then I put a pan of boiling water on the stove and I, you know, kind of boil it for a minute, just a minute. And then I'm adding my turmeric powder, and that always gives a really good taste to the curry, okay? Um, one day I'll tell you how I actually learned how to make curry. I add some peri-peri because I like hot food. You know that. Any kind of chili peppers, any kind of peppers that are hot. Got a whole bunch of chili peppers and stuff growing out back. Then I added curry powder. And I really don't measure, so I just taste as I go. And then I added some, just a little bit of cornstarch, just a little bit, thicken it up, because it was made very fast. It was like, you know, one pot meal. Then I added salt and pepper, because you have to have salt and pepper. Then I added some uh, uh, masala, okay? Um, and that was in a sample pack, so I used that one. And then I added cumin. Now that cumin is from Pakistan. And that's a really good cumin. It's by Spice Hunter. And then I added some garlic, minced garlic. Um, and that came from the dollar store. So, you know, I mean, I wasn't... Minced garlic is minced garlic to me. Then I added a little bit of glory seasoning salt. Um, it didn't call for it, but I like lowry seasoning salt. You know, it has that nice little taste to it, you know. And then I added a little bit of ginger. I added about a half a teaspoon of ginger in there. I know that much. Okay. Like I said, I like things spicy. And then I added onion powder, which you can see it's kind of rough here. But, um, I added it anyway. And then I added basil. I love basil. So, you know, I put that in there. Um, it doesn't really call for it, but it's a seasoning that I really, really like, and it gives it a good taste. 